Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. I'd tell you my real name, but your fragile human minds couldn't comprehend it. Plus, I'm terrified of cyberspace identity theft. Once every hundred years, I assemble the greatest t-shirt fighters from around the globe to do battle on T-Shirt Island. And sometimes I get bored and do it sooner with whoever's around. Welcome to the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. You may draw anything that pleases you. If you need an idea, use the suggestion button. I promise I'm not judging you, yet. Begin your first drawing, now. That time is not for decoration. Finish quickly. <laughs> uh, decent enough, but a bit traditional. At uh, this time, try changing your shirt color with the little tabs at the bottom. Begin your second drawing. Before time runs out. Get up, get up, get up, get up. 
one drawing to go. Let your freak flag fly, man. Begin. Hurry up and finish already! Good, good, pretty good. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. These have nothing to do with your drawing, so just put those out of your mind. And there's no shame in hitting the suggestion button if you need it. Go! You didn't give up after one, did you? Keep writing! Time is about to expire. You may want to finish up. Oh yes, this is going to be good. The time for training is over. Have a look at your device. You have a series of drawings and slogans at your disposal. Choose one of each to make the best t-shirt champion that you can. Don't phone it in.
Lovely. The moment has come. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet one. Versus. Fight. Fight by submitting your vote and your devices. That is. Versus Engage in an altercation. Versus Five Fight for me, babies. Fight. Challenger appears. Fight. A new challenger appears. Attack! Winners! This feels like a good time for a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. I want you to know, I believe in you. Go!
Now write. Decoration finish quickly. As we approach the second gauntlet, the cool winds of chance have switched around your drawings and slogans. Create your new shirt warrior. Got a good feeling about this batch. Don't think too. Versus. Fight.
new challenger appears. Fuck! Winners! Brace yourselves for the final gauntlet where the toughest shirts from the previous rounds go toe to toe. Prepare to vote! Versus... Fight! each other. Another tournament comes to a close. <sighs> Am I getting old?
Welcome to Trivia Night, a shambling homunculus of pain and regret. Or at least that's how I describe it on the Facebook event. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! But enough of me jawing on, let's get to the game! Alright, first question. The answer to this question is not at the shop. Who is the all-time NBA points leader? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, let's play a game. Welcome to the Kelly Floor. It's time for some finger cutting. I think you'll get the point soon enough. I regret that joke the second I said it. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. I'm sure you'll do great. Go for it. We do have fun here. Here's how everyone's doing so far, but also know that who you are as a person is just as important. Alright, next question. I love books that have happy endings. What were the names of the dogs and where the red fern grows? Surprise for you! Hello, Guten Tag! Welcome back to the Killing Floor! Let me ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. Who's the sexiest person alive? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. You know, a writer who's bad with deadlines. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, no thank you. is not just a right, it's a privilege. The votes are in. Oh, you wrote this hot garbage. So, I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghosts still get to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Even death doesn't get you out of trivia murder party. Here's the scoreboard again. 
I feel like you're getting the basic pattern of the game now. Next question. You know what I'm afraid of? Technology. If a computer goes bad, where do you stab it? What was the name of the killer computer in 2001, A Space Odyssey? said this one the rest of you who are still alive you're in for a treat wow look at this big enticing pile of cash just sitting here here's how this is going to work if no one takes the money no one dies but if you do take the money i'll kill everyone who didn't there's one catch if you all take the money then you all die Feel free to shout demands at each other now. Ah! Time for the consequences. Yes! It's good to see evil win. Aww. I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's try this again. There's a good chance that only Anne Hathaway herself is going to get this right. The Princess Diaries 2, blank. Someplace fun. Time to explore the magical world of words. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I got some of these letters from Highlights Magazine. Everybody else will be playing along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. We've pretty much started, so don't dwaddle. By the way, the letters don't have to be touchy. Don't forget to press submit when you're done. you came up with. Let's see if anyone beat you. Yeah, your word is not the best. It's kind of weird that the other players wanted you dead, right? Like, they didn't even have that much to gain. They just wanted you dead. Woo! This game has made me sweat. Glad I didn't wear a shirt today. Let's try another one. Just taking a moment to update my enemies list. What is Carrot Top's real name? The answer is this. Come with me. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. Eleven. Now I need a little help from a safe player. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? 
The choice is yours. Okay, your part is done. Thank you. Roll higher than me or you die. The dice are not your friend. Alright, next question. In 2013, Rudy Kurniawan became the first man in America convicted of counterfeiting what? answer is this one <laughs> everyone is wrong I want to show you something we're going to play chalices all of the safe players have been provided with a poison pellet pick a chalice to put your poison in Unless you're doing a Princess Bride gag, let's get to the poisoning already! Okie dokie, it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I'm pretty excited to show off my chalice collection. Mmm, hope it tasted good. Now let's see what everyone drank. What? No one drank any poison? That's not fair! How about this? If you've seen my Big Fat Greek Wedding, and you should, it's fabulous, then this should be an easy one. What are the colors of the Greek flag? more questions for you. Home to some of the world's most beautiful murder hostels. In which country is Prague located? someplace fun. Let's do a little memory test. Everyone gets to play this time. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's put these away. Is it distracting if I start yelling out, Car! Duck! Square! Wisconsin! <laughs> From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If anyone does better than you, I will kill you.
did your brain freeze up? Hit send. This was the pattern, you silly gooses. How much of it did you remember? But can anybody beat that? Now that's what I'm talking about. To be fair, predators are supposed to attack the weakest link. Only one player left alive, just how I like it. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Laxative brands. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. See the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit! Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If the ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. If ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. containing the Alps. Shadows. Founding UN members. Well, now we're alive. What a crazy game am 
decisions, decisions. Someone won! Australian cities. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. To all agents, when you return a jetpack, please make sure it's refueled. Thank you. To the owner of the invisible car in parking lot C, you have been rear-ended. Believe it. Interesting. Good assurance. Hey, Tina, you get any interesting results from tapping into those cell Ooh. phone cameras? Oh, yeah. 50% of the people were taking selfies, 60% of which were in front of a bathroom mirror. 40% of those were scantily clad gorgeous females, 100% of which reminded me that I need to up my personal grooming game. Yikes. Yeah. All of the surveillance we do here at the government gets collected in this computer. And when I say all of it, I mean all of it. Even that total disaster when you tried to cut open a mango. Usually we upload it straight to government YouTube. But today we're going to use it to play... Espionage! Off we go! First up... Okay, computer, what do you have for this one?
What percentage of people have worn fanny packs? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. You're almost out of time. Okay, we have a guess. 57%. Okay, everyone else. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. Believe it. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dad. Just one person says lower. Okay, right answer is. 5%. I'm telling you, they're going to make a comeback. Who picked higher? Here's some points. And what have we here? Ugh, I'm sorry. That answer was closer than 15%. Shouldn't have doubled down. Next up. <laughs> typey, typey. What percentage of women have more pairs of dress shoes than close friends? You're almost out of time. 50%. Okay, higher or lower? Running out, higher or lower? <laughs> Most of you are saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 38%! Of course, for some women, closet space could be a limiting factor. Who got it right? Nice job! I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people like fortune cookies more for the cookie than for the fortune? Six percent. Everyone else, higher or lower? Believe it. What do you think? Higher or lower? The majority say lower, and the correct answer is. 36%! Well, that's just reckless behavior. Remember, always plan your life around advice given by licensed professional fortune tellers with FDA-approved crystal balls. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! And what have we here? Well done! Double points for saying much lower. Who's next? Oh, this is going to be good. What percentage of people have delivered speeches in front of more than 100 people? And if you're in the audience, play along by answering the question. 15%. All right, what do you think? Believe it. 
running out of time. People are saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 55%. Your guess wasn't within 3% of the correct answer, so you don't get any points. Who got it right? Here's some points. Okay, who's up next? I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people use images of their pets as wallpaper for their desktops or phones? Seventy percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. One of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 11%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Next up... Please leave it. We've collected data about everything, even this. What percentage of people can fully arch their left and right eyebrows independently of each other? I'm 15%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Everyone says higher except for one of you. And Surveil says... 42%! That may raise some eyebrows. Who got it right? Well done! You get points! Who's next? All right, buckle in. I've got one for you. What percentage of people normally air dry all their wet laundry? Thirty-five percent. Okay, higher or lower? saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Six percent! Solidly mediocre. Let's see who got it right. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Uh-oh, final round time. Through totally legal means, we found the most popular answers to this question. What illness is most often faked by people to get out of something? Let's see what people think. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Good luck! If you're in the audience, pick the one you agree with most. You can totally determine the answer.
number, you can pick three answers, not just one. Let's see what answers you chose. And what are the most popular answers? Every game has to have a winner, and our winner is... <laughs> Congratulations! You've won a game that should probably be illegal. I'm so proud of you.